The Nigerian army traces its historical origins to the 19th century military formations. The Nigerian army is the largest among the armed forces. Welcome to Best Drive. Before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon, and leave a comment below. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the most advanced armored vehicles in the Nigerian army today. Number 1. ZSU-23-4 Shilka The ZSU-23-4 is a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun of Soviet origin. It was developed in the early 1960s to replace the older ZSU-57-2, which was very powerful, but lacked radar control and rate of fire. The name ZSU stands for Zenitnaya Samokhodnya Ustinovka, which is Russian for anti-aircraft self-propelled mount. The number 23 indicates the caliber and for the number of guns. The RPK-2 to ball radar is located on top of the turret. It has the NATO reporting name gun dish. The radar has a search range of 20 km and tracking range of 18 km. A target can be locked in 20 to 30 seconds. An optical sight is fitted for use against ground targets or under ECM conditions. Number 2. T-72B3M the T-72 is a second-generation main battle tank that entered production in 1971. It was designed by Ural Vagonzavod from 1967 to 1973. The T-72 entered service in the Soviet Army in 1973 and was widely produced and exported, with more than 25,000 units seeing service in 40 countries. The tank is manned by a crew of three, including a driver, a commander and a gunner. The middle section of the forward hull houses the driver, while the turret accommodates the other two crew members. Number 3. Isotrex Phantom II Armored. Isotrex S Phantom II is a new version of the 4x4B6 Armored Personnel Carriers APC. Other than a 5-door configuration, with 360 degrees gun turret, and with two or three escape hatches, the Isotrex manufacturing allows you to customize the vehicles for the special client's needs and requirements. The Nigerian Army is now using Isotrex Phantom II Armored Personnel Carriers APCs images released on Nigerian social media have revealed. Number 4. Marauder MRP The Marauder is an armored, mine-protected vehicle that is produced by Paramount Group in South Africa. It was launched during the 2007 International Defense Exhibition and Conference in Abu Dhabi, the largest arms exhibition in the Middle East. On March 2019, Nigeria buys hashtag Marauder Armored Vehicle. Following reports earlier in March 2019 that the Nigerian Air Force's Land Regiment had procured Marauder MRAPs, Paramount Group confirmed the sale. Number 5. Ezugwu Armored Vehicles The Ezugwu Armored Vehicle is locally manufactured by Daikin in Nigeria. The Ezugwu Armored Vehicles are armored against small arms fire and using flat-bottom armor technology. Its hull can withstand a 7 kg TNT explosion, whilst each wheel can withstand a 12 kg TNT explosion. The original version carries a crew of 12, commander, driver, two gunners, and eight soldiers. Unusually, the vehicle has two weapons turrets, which can traverse 360 degrees and a telescopic long-range camera for improved situational awareness. 
The 4x4 Azugwu is fitted with an independent suspension system and is powered by a Chinese WD615 turbo diesel engine. It is believed the Azugwu was designed on a Tatra 4x4 chassis, according to African military blog. The Nigerian army apparently has acquired many of Azugwu vehicles. And lastly, number 6. ARA or Thunder Vehicles, MRAPS. The ARA or Thunder is a combat vehicle in the category of MRAP, Mine Resistant Ambush Protected, vehicle fully designed and developed by the company ProForce. The vehicle can carry a total of 10 military personnel, including driver and commander. It can run at a maximum speed of 96 km per hour. The vehicle is a 17-ton mine resistant ambush protected MRAP, vehicle also designed to provide ultimate protection for high degree threats. Combining an array of latest technology, the ARA is a mission adaptive vehicle that provides superior crew protection and offensive ability. We have come to the end of this video, don't forget to like the video, Hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon, and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.